What's up everybody? Wanted to do a update video of my winch bracket fiberglass bumper project I've been doing. Um, if you haven't seen my other video of the homemade bracket I made that's like in eight pieces and you bolt it all together, take a look at that. And then you'll appreciate this design because I redesigned it so it's not so complicated and it's actually a two-piece bracket that interlocks and then you weld it together. And what I did is I made a little prototype and this is this is the winch bracket now and it's just made out of paper but it comes apart and as you lay those pieces flat that's what it looks like so I had those pieces cut out on a laser cutter by a company and then I bent this on my metal bender and then these interlock and then you weld it up and then you get this which I finished today and painted and installed as you can see it's got the two I think these are the two most common winch mount bolt patterns so I had them just put in both because I am planning on selling these so um, there's where the hood mount supports go and then I added an extra hole for if you got a transmission cooler and it mounts with five bolts on each side through a mother washer as you can see this comes down here and goes clear back past the radiator and it's got like all the clearance so it doesn't touch anything and so yeah and then here's the uh, the mounting locations for the D rings and that's where the fair lead can go um, here are the D rings I made. And what I did with these is I had four of these pieces cut out on a laser cutter and had these little notches put in there. So you line those notches up in a line on a metal bender. And you can bend that to a 90 degree angle and then stick them both together. And so it goes out this way and one goes out that way, and then you end up with this. And the reason I did that is because welding half inch thick metal um, is kind of hard to get full penetration with and then if you're towing you've got like this whole thing um, like dependent on your weld but this way it's still solid metal it's kind of like it's two D rings attached together acting as one and then I just welded it and ground it so it looks like one but that's a really strong D ring because that that's like that's seven eighths, uh, or no, 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 that's an inch thick, sorry. The hole is seven eighths thick for the shackle. That is an inch thick. That is a beast D ring that can tow a tank. And this is gonna have two of them. As you can see the bolt pattern is like exact and the nuts are welded on the back. So it makes for, makes an easy installation. Now, my bumper, this is my first cast, and this is a quarter inch thick hand laid fiberglass. I did my first layer was three quarter ounce, and then the next five layers were two ounce. And I'm guessing it weighs about 30 pounds. Like I can hold it out in front of my arm. Not like way long, but just to show you, it's not like ridiculously heavy. But at a quarter inch thick, it's very strong too. So how this mounts will be just on the front of the bumper or on the winch bracket like that and then the D-rings will bolt to it like that and hold that in place. And then this, uh, the fair lead, I've still got to cut a, I'm going to cu actually cut a little hole for it so it actually is recessed in the bumper a little bit and looks more flush but yeah that'll look cool. My plan is to get, um, I think it's called the Smitty Built XRC8. It's an 8,000 pound winch. And um, I did just, I don't have the winch yet because I haven't bought it yet, but um, just as a test, I ran over to Harbor Freight and test fitted their 9,000 pound winch in the winch bracket just to make dang sure it fits. And it was good. So, oh yeah, take a look at the pictures. So yeah, that's 
that's where I'm at so far. Oh yeah, another thing, this bumper um, does not come with jams in it. It is like flush right here when it comes out of the mold. That way people can customize it and put like a light here and a light there or, you know, it just, it leaves your options open to customize it to whatever you want or you can just leave it and put fog lights down here, you know, whatever. But um, I do have a video that shows you how to make fog light jams and I show you step by step how I did these ones and they're not completely done. I've still got to do some sanding but they're almost done. So yeah, that's what I've got so far. I'll be doing another video um, when this is finished. Uh, this bumper, if you could see, like the stock bumper would start here and then it would come down and then curve over this way so you got that whole corner gone and out of the way for more clearance. And from, I can't, don't know if you can tell yet, on the side view, like how much further that comes forward. Like you'll see it when I got it mounted on the Jeep, but there's a lot more clearance on the side for bigger tires. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. And don't forget to subscribe and email me and let me know if you'd be interested in a kit down the road. I am going to start selling these in a kit. And also um, I can sell it to you to where the winch bracket is like uh, just tack welded together. So you can weld it the rest of the way you know, so you trust the welds because you know it's a good job because you did it. Plus that makes it a little cheaper too. So, Anyways, thanks for watching.